Hi, this is Amir of 2R Freelancer, your design ninja. And today we will be sharing with you a tutorial on how to draw objects using shapes. And so for this tutorial, we are going to use Adobe Illustrator CS6. So let's start by using this rectangle tool. And then lagay lang natin dyan. And then we will convert the corners like this into round corners. Now, sa newer versions, meron ng uh, option to select the corner points. And then, pwede mo siyang i-click and drag. Automatic magiging rounded na siya for Pero for CS6, wala pa tayo nun. There. Then we'll put a color fill using golden yellow, something like this one. And then tanggalin natin yung outline. Duplicate natin siya. I'm pressing Alt key and then left click. And I'm dragging the object down. So Alt, Shift, and then click. There. So we need three of these and then we will select the second object and then press Ctrl D for duplicate. For the second uh, round rectangle, let's select a darker shade, clicking here and then click right here below. So that's darker. The third one should be darker than the second so we will select the color using eyedropper tool. Shortcut is I. So while selected yung third round rectangle, let's pick a darker one right here. So we now have three uh, round rectangles. Next is the tip of the pencil on the right side. So lagay tayo ng square. Select natin tong rectangle tool. Press shift and then click and drag to the lower right. And then, using the pen tool, we will add one point here. Shortcut for pen tool is P. One point here and then remove yung nasa dalawang corner sa taas. Pen tool. Remove. Yan. Pag nagkaroon na siya ng minus sign sa tabi ng pen tool, it will be removed. There. So, we now have a triangle. I started from the square kasi mas perfect yung form ng triangle. Instead na i-draw mo yung three lines, mas mahirap siyang ma-perfect. So, now we move the triangle onto the right side just a bit. And then we move the object to the back, send to back, there, and then we pick a color, something close to skin tone, like this, medyo light sya, doon natin darker ng konti, there, and then for the tip, we will use a circle, Select shift to make a perfect circle and then we will put uh, this center of the circle in relation dito sa triangle. So select, shift select both objects. So circle and triangle and then make the triangle the reference. Click nyo lang siya and then click right here. So, habang nakaselect sila, press nyo itong Shape Builder tool. And then, remove the circle, the remaining part of the circle by pressing Alt. Alt key. Now, we have the tip of the pencil. 
So for the eraser part on the other end, we will be putting a rectangle uh, object. Kasi di ba meron siyang yung uh, metal part na madalas natin kinakagat. I don't know about you, pero ako naranasan ko din kinakagat ko to. Tapos natatanggal yung eraser. <laughs> so let's use something gray. Something gray. And then we'll add just three lines. Lagay tayo ng stroke. Around three. And then make make it rounded. Yung dulo. Okay? Again, we duplicate this object by pressing Alt and then clicking and dragging the object. So if you press Ctrl D after doing that, magduplicate na siya. But we don't need that many. Pwede na siguro tong apat. And then select all. We're expanding the object para mas mabilis siyang Mabilis natin mapalitan yung color and hindi na siya magbabago ng uh, thickness when we resize. Let's pick something like dark gray. Pwede na. Then we will add the eraser part. So I'm always pressing shift para mas proportion yung size and mas mabilis mo siyang mailalagay sa object I mean, sa tabi ng ibang object So, bakit natin ginawang mahabang rectangle? You'll see later For now, palitan natin yung color ng pink, masyado tong pink Maybe something darker Pwede na. And then we convert the corners into round corners. Select preview. Mm, pwede na. Okay. Then, we will be trimming the parts na hindi natin kailangan. So, we do that by putting another shape right on top Naglagay lang ako ng uh, rectangle object and then I'm selecting both objects and then click shape builder tool press alt and then left click the, the parts na ayaw mo now bakit siya naging uh, rounded all the way we should be aiming for something na tuwid for this end. Straight edges siya. Pero on the other end, it should be rounded. So what you have to do is to convert the round object first. Expand appearance. And then, yan. Pwede na natin siyang itrim. there and then send to back so for the last part we will be adding pencil strokes dito sa side na to so it's your choice if you use a brush shortcuts B and put something like that. It's a random line. You want to make another stroke. Let's remove that. Let's put this right here and then like round corners
Now we need this to be an open shape. So we'll, we'll be removing a part of it. Select A for direct selection tool. And then click on the left side. And then just press delete. There. Open siya ngayon. And then we duplicate this object. Ayan. Rotate natin. Pwedeng rotate. Pwedeng reflect. Okay. Then we will adjust the length of the lines. Again, using direct selection tool. Shortcut I letter A. Put it right there. And then the other side right here. As you can see, it's aligning perfectly well because naka-open yung ating smart guides dito sa view. Open smart guides. Check nyo lang siya. And then add this one right here. I'll be selecting the selection tool. Magkaiba sila. Selection and direct selection. Then, put the put the outline here. Siguro, gawin natin wider. But, I'm not yet contented with this one. Lagyan natin siya ng logo. Mongol. And then, let's use Rockwell. Rockwell. And then, default color is black. Bold. Enter natin. And then, what? let's add number two. Effect. And then round corners, another round corner. Round corner, one, two, three, four, three, four. Text tool, number two. Rotate. siyang outline. Select natin new. There. And there we go. One of the quickest way to draw objects is by using shapes.